Welcome to Hako Live. Today we're here for our special Samana Santa episode. It's Good Friday, and as you can see, I'm starting today's episode off on the same place we started our last guided tour of Hako, on the north side of Hako Beach, just at the end of Calle Gemelas. And I'm doing that to show you the big difference that there is between a normal weekend and Samana Santa, which is the busiest week in Costa Rica, in Hako. So as you remember from our last video, the street was completely empty and the beach was pretty much empty. Uh, and here we are on Good Friday, about 5 p.m., 4.30, 4.45, approaching sunset. The race is on. If you enjoyed this content and want to send some Pura Vida our way, please subscribe to our channel and help us reach our goal of hitting 1,000 subscribers. So I've mentioned, as I've mentioned, in my past videos, the two or three busiest times of year really are Christmas, New Year's, a little bit in January, but by far the busiest week is Semana Santa. And that's because the importance that Semana Santa or Easter week has in Costa Rican culture. Uh, it's much different than say Easter in North America, in the United States or Europe or Canada, where although it's a holiday, uh, it's a much smaller holiday than what you see here. Here, typically, a lot of people have the whole week off. They go with their families to the beach. And this might be the time of year for a lot of families where it's the only time of year where a large family might go out uh, or go for a holiday in the country. I guess kind of like the spring break for families. So you're going to see large families, large groups here, buses, um, the whole deal. And... This starts throughout the whole week as well. Uh, the busy days start on Thursday, yesterday, and it keeps going uh, right until Monday, Tuesday. So now we're approaching the parking lot near Claritas, on the north side of the beach. And I'm expecting quite a busy scene down here. I don't have my route for today completely planned, but I think the idea is that we're going to go to the beach. We're going along, going along the beachfront until around sunset, and then we're going to just, that should match the time when we'll be around downtown. And then we'll go downtown for a bit and see what's going on there. So here we are. Quite a difference from my last video a week ago. towards Playa Mono, where we visited the last guided tour. And you can see all the families out. Easter here is the end of high season typically. The, this will be the end of our high season officially. And it's also a change in the weather. Uh, normally this is the when the wet season starts coming, the rainy season. And they predicted this year that the rainy season's coming early. 
In fact, we've actually had it rain a couple times in the last week or so. Nothing crazy, it's just starting. There's a bit of a transition, but we have started. And you can see today it's been overcast all day, threatening to rain, but not raining, very humid. So that didn't deter anyone from coming out to the beach though. is giving away garbage bags. Good vibes all around. And as is always the case in the holiday weekends, the lifeguards are out in full force. This weekend they've actually enabled extra guard stations on the beach in Hako. Uh, they also have a lifeguard station on Playa Hermosa, which is not uh, normally watched over. And we're just passing in front of the Best Western. A little quiet on this section, actually. Not sure why. Let's go check out the lifeguards. Despite the appearance, it's still a beautiful day. It's very hot, very comfortable. There's a little wind, a little too much wind. Hopefully it doesn't hurt the sound of this video, but it's still a beautiful day. And that's one of the things I always like to remind people about Hako is really the weather is fantastic year round. And the worst weather days are often not that bad, frankly. As you can see, huge turnout by first responders of Hako. Great to see these guys out there, keeping everyone safe.
case you're wondering where the surfers are, of course with the wind, there's terrible onshore winds today destroying the waves, so uh, basically nobody out. Nice beach bike set up. Too bad about the wind because the swell is pretty big today. Wouldn't mind being out on that one. Well, it's busy to be honest this isn't I, I thought it might even be busier I think it's the weather a little bit that's uh, made things a little quieter but I think you're gonna see later on this weekend that there's gonna be even more people say on Sunday weather dependent of course and if things go according to plan I'm gonna be out all weekend taking footage because after Semana Santa it starts getting a little quieter I know I mentioned in previous videos that Hako is sort of like the public beach of Costa Rica, the beach that you know everyone goes to, locals go to, everyone from San Jose goes to uh, due to its proximity to San Jose, central area, and it has a lot of amenities. It's easy to get to, easy to bring your family to and they get have a fun weekend with your family. And no weekend exemplifies this more than Easter because the bulk of the traffic is national traffic from Costa Rica so uh, of course there's a lot of tourism uh, from outside as well but definitely the biggest group are people from other parts of Costa Rica So one of the questions I got recently uh, in one of the comments was asking whether you can drink on the beach in Costa Rica. Uh, and I believe actually the answer in Hako is officially no, but realistically yes. Uh, I think you're going to see in this video a lot of people having a beer on the beach. And I don't think in general the police ever care about that. I do see them come around and ask people every so often to 
whatever comply with whatever rule they're breaking but by and large uh no you're not gonna have any problems it's a pretty chill place in fact i'd say that about a lot of laws if, if you're not really hurting anybody largely you can get away with quite a lot in history Along with the beach safety on holiday weekends, you also see jet skis, boats from the Coast Guard, helicopters, all sorts of stuff that's uh, not normal in Costa Rica. One more question I frequently get in the comments asking is how safe is the beach in terms of swimming and rip currents and uh, swimming safety and stuff like that. So I mean I think it's really important to just uh, let people know not to be alarmed, overly alarmed, but to understand obviously the ocean can be a dangerous place. Of course a surfing beach which means basically there's currents and waves. Uh, so with that of course uh, you're going to have uh, some difficulties if you don't know how to swim. So not comfortable with the ocean I've got a couple very easy recommendations for you. Hako is quite safe uh, it's just to be mindful of the ocean your surroundings the currents the easiest way if you're not familiar is to ask ask uh, someone who knows and in this case we're fortunate like I've mentioned to have lifeguards at several sections of the beach so uh, I would suggest uh, swimming and having your beach activities near a lifeguard station good starting point the other thing to keep in mind is Hako, generally speaking, the waves are smaller and the, the currents are less powerful on the south side of the beach. The bay gives a little shelter from the current most of the time. So uh, the southernmost parts of the beach tend to be the parts that are the most user-friendly. Uh, you don't know how to surf, you're not used to rip currents or the ocean, great place to go. With that said, you know, Hako is not the most dangerous beach. Uh, there's quite a lot around here, for instance, that are uh, more dangerous and I would not recommend uh, for swimming. Playa Hermosa, world-class surfing waves, not a swimming beach. Um, so just keep that in mind. And another point I, I mention a lot in my videos, and I don't want to hit it over the head too many times and keep repeating the same thing, but uh, Hako is not really that busy. I think a lot of people say things that it's overly busy, overly touristy. Well, this is the, the busiest weekend of the year. Uh, it can get busier than this. It will be busier than this on Sunday, I believe. But my point is, uh, it's not the busiest beach, even in this time. I've been to busier beaches uh, in a lot of places in the world on a normal weekend. So, it's one of the things I love about Hako. Even today during Easter, if I wanted to, I could easily find a pretty empty part of the beach, big section I could claim for myself. Here's the Diamante de Sol condominiums. I don't think we've ever passed this on our trips here so far. out here today the more I'm appreciating what a beautiful day it is the temperature's great 
the breeze is nice and refreshing. I noticed in the comments a lot of people mentioning that they're coming to Hako shortly after Easter. And actually, I have to say that that's a great idea in my personal opinion. I'm a big fan of off-season travel. And especially when you get just to the borderline of off-season travel. So in this case, uh, you know, most of those first few weeks after Easter, it's just going to start raining occasionally. Uh, it won't be too heavy rains. And if anything, the rains will tend to cool things down. Because it, to be honest, it gets very hot here, especially in the hottest season. So keep that in mind. Yeah, if you're coming here in the week or two after Easter, great choice in my opinion. I hope it works out for you, but normally that's a great time of year. Okay, well, no big deal crossing the Rio Cope here. Now we're coming up to the Malecon section of the beach, the Malecon restaurant, uh, Bohio Street. Let's go a little higher up towards the actual boardwalk and restaurants. What's that up ahead? I think I see the mango sele vendor. If I can catch up to them, we might actually get some mango sele. busy surf lessons. Frequently, I frequently pass by here on the episodes just because it's uh, conveniently located here at the end of Bohio.
of very chill vibes today. Actually, not that much music blaring on the beach, which definitely helps out my filming. And people enjoying a beautiful day out here. If any of my friends in the surf instruction industry are watching, thank you so much for always showing up for the camera, spreading some pura vida. As I mentioned, lifeguards out, full force. right behind actually the busiest downtown uh, parts is only a block away in this direction so you can see over here that's the Cocal Casino and behind that that street will take you to the green room to Mas Mormenos the main downtown section Paco. can't really tell today obviously but we're getting near the sunset uh, but it's overcast enough that it's uh, difficult to see like they're just starting to take down the umbrellas and call it for the day. See if you can see downtown the Trust Mart, straight down the street. But we got a little further to go, I think. The 
here it looks like the busiest part of the whole beach so far down here near Hikaku Ooh, maybe we're in for a treat here this is looking promising I don't see how we could pass up sticking around for a, a song Vista Las Palmas on the Minion. Quite a spread up set up here. Nice barbecue deal going. Oh, here we go.
was unexpected and pretty cool. A little bit of local flavor for you. That doesn't happen every day. Hope you don't mind the little detour. Sometimes you just gotta go with things as they are, go with the flow. Beautiful sunset that started. I actually didn't notice until the band was playing and I turned around. This is a really magical time of year for sunsets here. Ready? Please hit the subscribe button. Help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers on our channel. And we're coming up on Salinas. Accidentally photobombing someone there. Sorry about that. If there's anybody that understands about photobombing, I'm the guy. Let's not go. Everyone's taking a photo of the sunset. What are you going to do? So I was going to go up to Salinas, but... Uh, I think it's a little difficult with the music that's playing right now, so I'm going to just stay along the beach a little longer. Now we're in the very popular surfing area, but there's only three people up. And 99% chance that those people are not from Hako. Frankly, it's just not a good day. It's terrible at all. But uh, the wind often dies down the last 30 minutes or so before sunset. I can feel that happening right now. So actually, it's calmed down a little bit. 
So who knows, maybe these guys will have the last lap. There's about a 15 minute window right now where if you were so inclined, you might catch a wave, a pretty reasonable wave. Maybe. Big shout out to the band that was out there. No idea who they are. If I do find their info, I will put it in the description, but uh, I'm not so sure I'm gonna be able to figure that one out. I will try. We're gonna end this episode on the beach. I am gonna have a separate episode out with a walkthrough of downtown Harpo on Good Friday evening. So look for that separately. Ooh. And a little bit of Horses on the beach, always fun. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's walk on the beach on Good Friday in Hako, Costa Rica. Stay tuned for more episodes. Don't forget to hit subscribe and to like this video. Thanks again for watching. Good evening.